What is up, Travel Squad? We are back at it again. Back at it again. And today we are back in Port Miami. But as you guys can see from our messy room in there, we're not getting off the ship. This is so weird. It's like, I feel kind of lazy, but like this is our first back-to-back -back ever. I feel like we're about to get in trouble or something and they're gonna come kick us out. Well, we are gonna be late if we don't go check in with them. But hey, come along with us on our first ever back-to-back -back cruise. Sorry, it's so noisy because they're trying to get the ship turned over and stuff like that. Yeah, we've never done this before, so we just want to show you guys what's up. What a cruise turnover looks like. Like all the rooms are open. They gotta run in and change all the bedding and everything. Should we there. up and see if we can see the suites? Oh, maybe. <laughs> it's pretty much chaos for the next couple hours while everyone gets ready. It's really weird seeing in everyone's rooms. I'm really nosy, so I'm like loving this right now. <laughs> everyone that's going back to back has to meet in the dining room, and we're just gonna chill in here until they call our number, I guess. It'd be nice if they had like a special breakfast or something. I think they do. I think they have a lunch or something like that. Really? Yeah, but we have to make sure we have our C pass cards and then our passports as well so we can go through customs when we get off the ship. So they gave us these little stickers to chill in the dining room and then we're gonna take our photos again and get new C pass cards. All right. They check your C pass card and then check your name off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they hand you new cards. After we got our cards, they ended up taking a new photo of us and then they, I think, believe they did our mustard drill for us because we already did it previously. So they just took, uh, checked it off and said we, we were done. So we don't ever have to do a mustard drill again. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Cause that's why they scanned it. They did the photo and then they scanned the cards again and she checked something yellow off. I'm pretty sure saying that's we completed our mustard drill. I don't know if I agree with you. Right. I feel like we're gonna have to do that later. $50. No, this le like legitimately, I don't know what it is. This feels so wrong. I feel like I'm doing something bad right now. I should be going home to my cats. We're sitting next to the boat, the, the natural gas boat that fills up the ship. That's pretty cool to see like firsthand up close. 75 years later. Looks like it's finally time after like an hour of waiting. Let's go. <laughs> People were probably trying to hide to stay on the ship. That's a big yawn. <laughs> oh it's really weird seeing them set everything up. Oh my gosh, they have the balloons set up already? Wow, that was fast. I will not be attending the balloon drop again. Come on. That sounded like gunfire and it was terrifying. There we go. <laughs> Come on. You no. know what to expect this time. No, I'm good. I honestly wasn't expecting so many people to be doing a back to back, but hey, more friends to party with. So we have to use our made our inaugural sailing card to tap out. So we tap out. And he collects them. I'm not gonna lie, that kind of sucks because I wish I would have kept both cards. I said, do we have to give it to you? And I didn't understand him, but he said something about like, give it back to you. So I don't know if they're gonna give it back to us later. I doubt, but like- We collect those. We, yeah, we collect, that sucks. Now back to the terminal with the giant balls. As Laura once explained, I do like this, honestly. Like it's, it's very calming. I wish we would have known, like if you guys ever do anything like this, make sure you get breakfast first. We messed up, we didn't get breakfast. Yeah, I think we thought this was gonna be faster than it is. It's still not bad, but it's, yeah, I'm, we're kind of hungry right now. We'll survive. I'm gonna, what is this, starve. <laughs> now I'm gonna starve. No, I'm gonna starve. See you on the next icon of vacation in 10 minutes. Oh, that's Star of the Seas, Never mind. We will not see you on Star of the Seas. So the line to get back on the ship, there's so many people. I wasn't expecting this many people. We might know some people. <laughs> We do. Chilling over here with Trev and Chels. We happen to run into them. Good morning. Is this what it's usually like when you do back to back? This is our first one. This is way more people, like 10 times the amount of people. I really? Like. Yeah, I think I've never seen it over 100. I'm also really upset they took my CPAS card. Oh, it's same here, because I collect those. We do too. They said we'll get them back, but we'll see if that happens. We'll see if that happens. Laura, here we go. Too bad we can't do our global entry right here. We would get right through. I mean, I feel like we'll basically just scan our card. Back up the escalator into the terminal. Yay! Time to get you some Starbucks. I hope we can get right back on. I don't we might have to sit up here for a little while. <laughs> it looks like we don't have to go into the waiting room and we can head right back onto the ship. We're back, baby! I guess you can say we're back at it again. <laughs> back at it again. Boarding day, back on board and boarding day. officially on. I still can't get over this entrance. Here's my boarding day outfit. Oh, nice. Do you want to do a little spin? Nice, nice. Pants from Vici? No, Lululemon, Old Navy, Amazon. And then this is what I'm wearing for my boarding day. Hoodie from Coachella, pants from Nike, 
choose from Hoka. You want to rip open your card? All right. There we go. Hey. <laughs> At least we still get the same feeling of ripping open the envelope again. Yep. And the same room, so we don't have to move anything. I literally, I do like feel like it's an actual new boarding day, and I'm excited. <laughs> we do still have two days before we have to start working. So oh yeah. We got this weekend to go nuts. Hi, welcome. Hello. Cool. The safety briefing is complete. Thank you. Safety briefing is That's complete. That's awesome. So, Starbies. Starbucks. Even though this is like not new to you guys and you've seen it before, it's kind of cool to see like how fresh it is when we get back on the ship in like 10 minutes. I feel nostalgic already. Like this feel like a week ago today, we were hopping on the ship and just like literally in complete wonder and amazement. First stop of the day, of course, is Starbucks. You haven't had Starbucks in a whole week. First drink of the day. First drink of the day. We don't collect these cuts, but if you guys collect these, they have this icon of the seas mug. That's pretty cool. I feel like that's very exclusive. So being this early, the only place that's open for breakfast is the Pearl Cafe. So we came up here, got a few snacks. Floor is in line over there. But yeah, the Windjammer's not even open this early. So we just gotta chill for like an hour and a half and then we can get some actual real food. I didn't see this at all last week. They have curry chicken salad and then some Thai pasta. I know it's not really breakfast food, but at the same time, it's still pretty good. What did you get? Oh. Ooh, uh, the barbecue chicken. And then I, want, I haven't gotten any sweet stuff from here. So I got the coffee apple cupcake. Oh, that sounds good. Yeah. And just like that, we're about to go back to the room because we have another premiere. Guests are on the ship, coming on board for the first time. Wow, I remember this, it was me last week. A little later. The premiere is over, and now we are headed to the Windjammer to get some uh, food. so bad doing <laughs> Good thing that the Windjammer is literally one deck up from our room. And we're gonna be eating there a lot this week because we do not have the unlimited dining package again. I can't remember if we vlogged about it, but I don't think the unlimited dining package is worth it on Icon. It's just too many free options. I do know the Windjammer is named Windjammer and not Windjamir. I was just joking when I said Windjamir. But we have guys dancing food. They're... So there's like a washing station and they, they encourage washing your hands because it's disgusting if you don't. These guys are my favorite. Oh, Laura, look, they did it again. Do you want to do a blue one now that we don't have to like Yeah, we don't it? have to worry about it so we can just dye our mouths blue. I'm curious to see though what the difference is. Is they going to still serve lobster and steak and all that or is it just going to be normal I food? I smell it. So it looks like for the second sailing, they also are doing the lamb chops, bronzino, filet mignon. Most likely they're going to have the lobster, which is kind of cool. So I wonder how long they're going to actually do that for because I know it can't be ex can't be cheap since they charge for it in the main dining room. I think we already have like a good idea of what we're going to get because we know what's available. We know what to avoid. I honestly hate wasting food, but I feel like we came up here just because we could and not because we really wanted to. Like I'm looking at your plate and you have like chicken tender, mac and cheese and fries. And a hot dog. The Brandon Parker special. I got some shrimp cocktail because I didn't get to get it on the last ship. And then I have potatoes and rice. Like, the food's still good. It's just, I feel like we did it because we've never done it before. Yeah, even though we're on here for another week, next week needs to be healthier eating. Yes, please. Please, please. But at least we get to do the water park without anyone on it because no one really gets their bathing suits or their bags yet. So since we're already changed out, we can go do the water slides because Laura hasn't done them yet. Well, here we go. We're here again. This time is your first time yeah, trying I have, the slides? I have not done any of the water slides yet. So yeah. I want to start with the, um, the, the raft. Oh, really? The All right, bet. Yeah. Um, let's go get that cabana right there, or that thing right there, and then let's hop on. Perfect. So what you guys saw from the last time we did this, we cannot bring phones or anything like that. So I'm going to have to leave you here, and then we'll talk about it when we get off. When we go off the, off the, off the ride. Off I the wish ride. we could take you guys with us. 11 minutes later. So that was pretty awesome. I didn't get to do that color last time, but we did the red slide. The pink one. The pink one. Yeah. one what did you think about it? Um, so it was a little intense for like a second, and then honestly, it was pretty easy. Yeah, but she also didn't have to go backwards the whole time, so that made it a lot easier. You were going pretty high up the sides. So. Yeah, I know. I was like, what is going on? That was a little freaky, but... Do you want to do another one? Yeah, let's do the mat slide. Okay. <laughs> Many, many minutes later. We're back from the water slides. And how was your first time on the water slides? Oh my gosh, the um, the one where you go down, Storm Chaser, I don't yeah, know. The mat one? On the mat, that was so intense. And it picked up speed. Like I was going up the wall, like almost off the mat. You did 10, 10 to 12 miles an hour. When me and Kyle did it last week, it said I did 20 something miles an hour. I don't know how, but Kyle's like, how'd you go faster than me? 12 miles an hour was fast enough. <laughs> I was hauling. Let's go to the hideaway pool, infinity yeah. pool, and hang out because there's no one in there yet. And we're basically hitting everything that we did not hit this past week. We finally get to go into this pool over here. It's not as cloudy as it was last week, but it is a lot colder. This pool is not heated. And I don't think Laura knows that. 
It's a lot colder than the other pool. Holy crap. Yep. It's freezing. What? <laughs> okay, I need a second. It's only been a week and there's already someone's toothpick and floss right there. And some hair. Lots of hair down there. This is the cleanest we're ever gonna see this pool this week. So enjoy it. There we go. Apartment. We're back at our favorite spot, the Hideaway Bar. For swim and tonic. Swim and tonic. Why do I keep saying that? The Swim and Tonic Bar. And cheers to an amazing boarding day. The least stressful boarding day we've ever had. Seriously. <laughs> and just like that, it's almost time for sail away again. Wow, it's, it's so nice to have another boarding day sail away. And just as we're heading out, we have Indy heading out right before us. Wow, look at all the people on the front deck and then all the people up on the Lido deck. This is awesome. I love seeing this. I wonder if they're going to blow their horn as they pass us because everyone's out on the front deck looking. Yep, there it is. I love when the royal ships pass each other. Look at all the people up there. Wow. So how's it feel so far to be on a back-to-back? -back? I mean, like I said earlier, we're normally so like, not sh I kind of stressed running around on boarding day and just like trying to get everything and see every everything. So this feels like I'm doing something wrong yeah. a little bit. Literally just like getting back on the ship and just kind of like meandering around and taking a nap. It's like- The fact that we don't have an agenda is nuts. The fact that I look like this on boarding day. Pretty, gorgeous. I mean, come on guys, look at them eyes. Look at those eyes. They're eyes of a killer Bella. Is that what you said last time? Yes. <laughs> I honestly feel like we're maybe sophomores, juniors now, because we've done the sail away already, like back last week. I also feel like this sail away is a little bit crazier. I don't, I feel like it's quieter because I can actually hear you. Oh, okay. It just looks like more people. We finally found the Cloud 17 pool. Oh. We, never, we didn't even see it last week. It's funny because this was supposed to be an adults only area and it doesn't really feel like secluded like an adults only area would be. No, like there's a bar over there, yes, but yeah, it's not. No, I think they kind of made the right call making this for everyone. They also have like the nicer chairs to like lounge and stuff on. That is nice. Did we see the sail away last time? I don't think we did. I don't think we did either. You can see Miami in the distance, which looks gorgeous. Yeah, I think last time we were busy talking to everyone and we just like were out to sea by the time. I don't even think we came up to deck 17 at all last cruise. I'm like looking around, I'm like, oh, there's a pool up here. There's some like private Cove cabanas over there. If those, I don't know if to pay for those or not, but I see an attendant. Like what else are we gonna find this week? No, seriously. And that's how big this ship is. Like you don't, you, there's a way you can walk around the ship and not see everything in one week. I like how that small boat right there is kind of raced the cruise ship to beat it out into the ocean. The yacht, not so much, but you can tell they're trying to like really haul ass to make it in front of the cruise ship. I mean, they might do it, but it looks like a rough ride. They're hitting those waves it's pretty hard. They're slowing down now. I guess they realize they're not gonna make it. Oh, that's why, because there's a police boat right there. Dang, everyone's coming out to see the ship off today. Look, we even have a paraglider flying right next to the ship. That's something that I've never seen before. Which boat are they even attached to? The, the big fan in the back. Oh. Yeah, it's like, th it's the big fan and get left on the thing and then it just go. That's awesome. Kudos to them, because I don't know if I can ever do that. That takes a lot of confidence right there, especially next to us. Probably creating a draft or something like that. Oh, there he goes. Wow, he is skilled. Or she, we don't know if it's a male or woman. Wow, see you later. Oh, like, oh, that's a cool shot. It's riding off into the sunset. You guys know that I cannot do a sail away without showing you the aft view. There's the wake for you. See you later, Miami. We'll catch you in seven days. All right, it's dinner time. We're, for the first time ever, we're going to the main dining room. I'm kind of astounded right now how different I look, how we could go from today. Oh, yeah. Do you want to show off your outfit no, for today? I do not. <laughs> Here, look, this is Laura's outfit, the Royal Caribbean shirt. You want to do a little spin for us? Sure. Here's the bat. Boom. There you go. Where's it from? Lulu's? Vici? from the store downstairs outside of Playmakers. <laughs> but no, because we had the unlimited dining 
packaged. We never, we thought it would be a waste of money if we went to the main dining room. So this week, we're that's all we're doing. We did hear the food has been pretty good in MDR, so we'll be the judge of that. Laura, I just know that your brother, if he saw us coming to go to dinner like this in the slides and the basketball shorts, he would disapprove. What's up, Steve? <laughs> wow, look at this dining room. Has like a little chandelier in the middle. So this is what it looks like on the icon of the seas. Here we go. Do you already know what you want? Because I know you like to look at the menu before we go. I know I want spinach artichoke dip. <laughs> I also just realized that this is the first time that we've eaten in a Royal Caribbean main dining room in over a year. November 2022. Yeah. yeah. Here is the welcome aboard menu for the main dining room as of the first night. So if you guys see anything you like, pause it. You can read it. I see a couple good things on here. I've never seen spinach artichoke dip on the starter, so I think I'm gonna start with that. Maybe with a tomato soup or a Caesar salad. I don't know. I can go for either one. I'm sad because I don't see my um, French onion soup. French onion soup on there. <laughs> I noticed something really cool about this main dining room. What? It's not packed to the brim. There are chairs over there, chairs over there. Oh, there's chairs behind you. There was no like real line to get in, and I think it's because of how many options there are for food on the ship. So that is pretty cool and. I mean, it's only the first night, so we'll see, but I feel like the, the MDR normally feels like a little bit more hectic than this. And you have to like squeeze by all the chairs because they're so close together and they're all yeah. full. What do you keep? Kind of so we enjoyed our table so much. If you have my time down, you can actually reserve your table. So we went up to Tapan and he actually hooked us up and reserved our room or our table for the rest of the cruise, right? Yes. For Not, the rest of the cruise. That's what's up. That's that service. I love it. We have the best waiters and such a good table, so we'll be set. So if you're ever curious, come up and ask for him and he will hook you up. <laughs> All right, we gotta make our way through Playmakers to the ice rink over here, which is called Absolute Zero. Lori, you're probably the smartest one because I forgot that it's actually cold for the ice show. This is what I wish our room felt like. You want us in front row? Yeah. We got here, what, like 15 minutes early and we still got good seats? It's kind of packed, not really. It's more people than I thought were gonna be here. It's not as bad as Quest, though. I, I personally like it before the show has started. I don't know how I'm gonna feel after, but it just looks so like grand yeah. and I don't know it's just it's just pretty wow these projections are amazing there's the sun right there I'm looking at this projection on the ground and I'm like, I'm nerd, I'm like film nerding out because I think the frame rate is off for the video so I can see it click. <laughs> wow. What do you think about the show? I honestly loved it. That guy, Victor, who was on Wonder of the Seas, yeah. um, he's just so incredible. I didn't know he could skate too. I mean, he was in the Aqua show. Yeah, he was in the Aqua show on Wonder. What yeah. can't he do? Seriously though, he's incredible. The whole cast was great. I really enjoyed it. I liked the new, um, circular arena. Yeah. I thought it was pretty cool. Well guys, that is actually it for our Icon series. We knew we said this in the last vlog, but this is the final final of our Icon series. That's it. That's all you get. But we enjoyed dinner. We enjoyed the process. We did enjoy the ice show, which was pretty amazing. Yeah. Definitely recommend that. But other than that, we're gonna head to bed. I can't believe it's over. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this series. Welcome to all the new subscribers that have come in since this series. We really appreciate it. Thank you guys for being here. We really, really do appreciate you. And hopefully enjoyed the content. But as always, thank you for watching and we'll see you guys later. Bye.